The huge loss of a true political lion. Former governor of New York, Mario Cuomo, died New Year's Day at the age of 82. Remembered for his towering intellect, President Obama calling him a determined champion. ABC's John Donvan on the passing of a political patriarch. But for a wild pitch, most of America would never have heard what Mario Cuomo had to say that night 30 years ago. Maybe, Mr. President, if you asked a woman who had been denied the help she needed to feed her children because you said you needed the money for a tax break for a millionaire or for a missile we couldn't afford to use. Cuomo, the son of Italian immigrants, he didn't speak English till he started school. Raised in New York City, he worked in his parents' grocery store, won a scholarship to college, then was drafted to play professional baseball. That's when the wild pitch that caught him in the back of the head knocked him out of the game and onto a different course. It was law school, first in his class, and then politics. Please welcome the governor of the state of New York. Eventually, he was elected governor of New York, where he led, in his own words, as a progressive. But it it was on the national stage where Cuomo came to stand for something big as a Democrat. That the problems of a retired school teacher in Duluth are our problems. That the future of the child, that the future of the child in Buffalo is our future. That the struggle of a disabled man in Boston to survive and live decently is our struggle. That the hunger of a woman in Little Rock is our hunger. Suddenly, the Democrats had an orator leading to the obvious question, President Cuomo? Twice he considered the White House, even to the point where there was a plane ready to take him to New Hampshire to file before the deadline. But each time, the decision was the same. That it would be in the best interest of the Democratic Party that I abandon any such effort now. Those who knew Cuomo say he wrestled with decisions because he was a deeper thinker than most politicians. He knew he just didn't want it enough. He took pride in seeing his longtime advisor and son, Andrew, step into his old job as governor, because to Cuomo, the highest calling was public service, which was as much why people loved him as what he had to say. I want people to say, now, there was an honest person. 